What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today we're taking on a summer adventure between the center of Funchal, Lido, and Praia Formosa, the beach in Funchal. So we're gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to get to the beach, uh, where the beaches are, you know, how to do that whole thing, uh, where to eat, where to drink, the whole the whole shabam, right? So uh, before we get started on all of this, we're feeling a little bit fancy today. So we're gonna have some breakfast, Andre and I, and then we're going to head west, uh, just outside of Funchal city center to go and enjoy some swimming time. You ready? Yeah, yeah. What time is it? 9.56. 9.56, we've only got a couple of minutes. Let's go. I don't usually go to these uh, fancy places, you know, but uh, you know what? This actually not so. Uh, whoa, 175 for a pastel nata? What is that? Is that good or bad? Mm. They got waffles. We could have we had waffles for breakfast. Yeah, but. That's, I mean, a, that's, a, that's a topic for another vlog. And that would have been perfect actually for. Uh, should we change our minds? Nah, no. we'll do it later. We don't have time. Don't have time today. I'm kind of looking forward to having uh, some poshness in my life. Uh, I've been eating so badly lately. This is why I'm wearing black, you know, so you guys, so we're hiding the fatness, right? Because it's just been like croissants and espetadas and I don't know, just, just good, good stuff. Anyway, we're going to try this made here at uh, the Golden Gate. Probably the most expensive croissant in the world. I'm joking. I'm joking. They used to call this place the corner of the world because apparently here you used to hear all different languages, of course, you know, because Madeira was quite, or Funchal was quite the cosmopolitan area. And this is a pretty old place, uh, probably at least 100 years, and yeah, 1841. So th this would have been open in those very special old days uh, of Madeira, which uh, I'm actually quite maybe a little bit jealous for not have experienced in my lifetime but I'm glad that uh, you know in our uh, day and age we have uh, croissants and uh, modern technology right <laughs> so we're gonna have our breakfast I'm sure it's epic and um, then we're gonna head off on our summer adventure so stay tuned mm. it's approved The moment of truth, pastel nut, I'm excited. It's kind of uh, crispy, it looks crispy on the outside, good sign. Oh, the crispiness, I mm. heard it. Oh, you did? <laughs> it was a very good pastel nut. I would recommend you to bring your grandmother or your mother to Golden Gates. <laughs> Have a pastel nut, she'll like it. So we're gonna find a taxi who doesn't mind being in the vlog. <laughs> so you can do this by bus. You can also walk, but uh, taxis are the quickest, cheapest way to get there. And I'm a big fan of the taxis. So. A gente precisa de um serviço polido, mas precisamos saber se você importa a gente a filmar dentro do taxi. Pode entrar? Pode entrar? Let's go. Right, so we're going to the Lido area. Lido is just outside of the Funchal city center, right? It is still part of Funchal, of course. Funchal is a very big area, um, but it's a couple of kilometers away, two, three, yeah. Uh, so you can walk it and we'll see there's people walking. Just that we have jobs, you know, so we don't have time. We have to be done by lunchtime. You know, that's how we roll, you know? It's Golden Gate taxis. You ready, Andre? We're gonna be, we're gonna be fine dining tonight. We're gonna be having uh, <laughs> lobster at uh, at Calo Doro. And, uh, one day, you guys go and like and subscribe, and when we hit 10,000 followers, we're gonna go for dinner in Calo Doro. Yeah, yeah. We we're getting there. We're getting there. Ciao, obrigado, bom dia. All right. Six, 
Six euros, 60, I think it was. We're gonna say a quick hello to uh, our friends at Lido Tours. Uh, they've got nothing to do with this video, but we are friends, so we're just gonna say hello. Let's just say hi, and we'll, we'll be right back. This is the new office at uh, Lido Tours, which we'll get to later, you know? We're, we're gonna do lots of cool things with Lido Tours, but uh, it's nice and fresh, I like it. They're still waiting for our uh, promotional materials. <laughs> Everybody's waiting for something from me, I'm sure. So like, I just want to say sorry publicly. I had a crazy week last week, lots of personal stuff. That's why we didn't do a vlog and we did the live stream. And you can check out the live stream because there's loads of great information there about uh, Praia Formaza at sunset, which is where we're going to end today, but not at sunset because we got jobs. Isabel, just wanted to say hi. See you later. Okay. See you later. We got to work. Let's go. I don't know if they have it. Well, I might have to go for the second closest, the Smirnoff ice. Have you ever had this? Yes, that's it's, that was one of my first alcoholic drinks. And me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we gotta get a bottle of water so we don't uh, dehydrate. Yeah, for breakfast. It's only one, okay? And we're not driving. You go, Andrea. It's 10, 10 37 now. Yeah. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Reminds me of my teens. Oh, me too. <laughs> anyway, this is the top part of the Lido section. Basically, from Funchal to Lido, it's kind of like the hotel district kind of thing. So it's kind of like the more touristic side of things, you know? So everything's gonna be just a little bit more expensive, but there are some hidden gems here, and we are gonna bring those to you so stick around because i'm going to show you where you can eat where you can drink all that kind of stuff we're going to get into it um, but there's great hotels up here of course and uh yeah this is where all the action happens so we're going down to the promenade right and that's uh basically where we're going to start our walking our summer walking adventure this morning so we're going to start at the lido promenade uh you ready yeah let's go We've arrived at our first uh, swimming hole. So this is the Lido swimming complex and this is where all the action is. I highly recommend this place to people who are maybe uh, not sure about swimming in the ocean with the currents and things like that. Or maybe if you need a little bit more help like wheelchair access uh, or if you want to uh, use the bathrooms and the change rooms. Uh, as you can see, it's packed full of people and it's still early in the morning. So the locals love this place, all right? A lot of local kids grew up learning how to swim in this swimming complex. And even myself, when I used to come here on vacation, I have very fond memories, not only of the whole of Lido, uh, and of course, the whole of uh, Madeira, but a lot from this swimming pool. Also, if you're living here, I know there's a lot of you guys that are moving to Madeira and things like that. This is a great place as well. Uh, to come, even if you drive in, you can drive in, get out, have a swim, have a shower, have a coffee and whatever, and then carry on your day. It was the 29th of November 2009 was when I arrived here. And the first two weeks of December, I was swimming in the seawater every day uh, from Ponta Gorda, which is the, one of the next swimming spots, which we'll show you here as well. Uh, and I did that every single day uh, for about two weeks until it was time to get a job, right? But if you are living here, they do like membership cards and things so you can uh, get some pretty cheap, uh, cheaper access. Like I said, a couple of euros to get in, but just around the corner there, there's another little beach, which I'll show you in a second, uh, which is free. So if you don't want to pay to go into the water, then you can go there as well. This is the free section over here, right next to the official swimming uh, complex. And uh, yeah, as you can see, you can just kind of come down, lay your towel, 
on the on the floor and then you've got your steps and all that kind of stuff so you can get in and out of the water very easy this is one of my favorite spots uh, when I do go swimming there's very few places that I go swimming at because usually on my time off I don't like to adventure too much because I like to relax because my my job is an adventure right so um, yeah this is this is one of my favorite spots I know I say that a lot on here but uh, it is true this is Probably one of the places where I've swum the most um, in the couple of years, the last couple of years. Today's video is brought to you by our very own Hit The Road Madeira Patreon account. So we started a Patreon account in February of this year to help connect with you guys and to bring you even more value. And in return for supporting our channel, uh, we are going to give you all sorts of really cool things for just for euros 50 you get access to me and you get access to all of our resources where to eat where to drink there is a secret guide that is coming with all of our secret recommendations stuff that you won't find on your own uh, and obviously that is available only to our patreon members you also get exclusive access to me uh, if, on the second tier if you go for the traveling to madeira and vacationing in madeira you get a video call with me where I can help you plan your entire trip whether you're coming out with us on a tour or you want to just do your own thing and plan some itineraries, routes, uh, suggestions, all sorts of stuff. So check out the Patreon account and remember as well we are giving away a vacation for 2023 for anyone uh, who is in the Patreon will be in the draw. So sign up for one month for, for only four euros fifty. Uh, you also get 15% off at everything at Hit The Road Tours as well, the best tour company in the world. And uh, you stand a chance to win a vacation in Madeira. So uh, speaking about food, there are some really, really great places up here where you can eat. Some of my favorites are Malfatiu, Il Basilico, Papa Manuel. There's the sushi place, Sushi by Gavinas, Lino's. There are some really, really good stuff here and we're gonna be bringing good stuff to the channel. And of course, all of our Patreon members uh, get our food guide uh, with all of our favorite spots. So let's get moving. We're running out of time, right? <laughs> let's go. This is Ponta Gorda. I think it might be a little bit cheaper than uh, the, the Lido, but not by much really. And uh, one of my favorite bits about this place is this pool over here, because it's got, it's this like natural pool kind of thing. So you can still get the, the waves and stuff. And this is a great place for anyone who's not quite sure about the water, who doesn't know, you know, isn't maybe a 100% with their uh, capabilities. Uh, then you can very easily come out here and swim in the morning, very early in the morning. It's really, really uh, super calm. Actually, this is the place that I used to go um, for the two weeks. Like I said, like I mentioned earlier, when I first arrived in Madeira, I used to catch loads of sun and swim and chill out with all the retired folk. Um, but great place to swim if you're not 100% sure. And of course, this is the promenade that we've been walking on for the last, uh, I don't know how many minutes. <laughs> what, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, and this is the promenade that connects the Lido or the Lido area to Praia Formosa, the beach. It's a couple of kilometers, it's not much. Uh, and uh, yeah, we're gonna carry on uh, doing that and showing you more. So, <laughs> let's go. There are one or two of these little secret spots uh, along the promenade as well. This one being uh, very close to the Pastana Grand Hotel. Great for adventurous people, but of course uh, you don't want to get yourself in trouble. So if you do come to any of these places, really keep an eye on the current. First of all, if there's big waves and stuff, stay away, which is rare in the summer, more in the winter. But still, if that kind of thing happens, you want to stay away from this kind of place. Uh, and then obviously if you're going to be 
uh, climbing rocks and, and, and jumping off rocks and doing the more extreme stuff, then realize that it is at your own risk. Also, don't forget the sunscreen, don't forget the water, uh, very easy to dehydrate and it's very hot right now in August. This is the officially the end of the promenade. So the promenade comes up to here and now we have to divert to get to the beach. So over there, we've got the beach and of course this awesome view uh, of Camera de Lobos up at the top there. So Camera de Lobos is right at the end there and you can actually carry on walking all the way to Camera de Lobos. You can do this at sunset. It's also really, really beautiful. Let's get a little bit closer. What you do have to remember that you're here at the Centro Mar shopping center. So as soon as you see this Centro Mar thing, uh, then you have reached the end of the promenade. So um, we're gonna go down to the beach and uh, that's the way. So yeah, a couple, a little bit of technical things. So come with me, let me show you and it'll all make sense in a couple of minutes. Another cool little uh, natural pool uh, complex, Doca do Cavacas, uh, really nice and nice and quiet as well. And there's also a great little restaurant. So this is the way you want to come down when you see the Doca do Cavacas steps to go down. You come down here and we're going to carry on. Come with me. This over here is the tunnel that goes to the beach, right? So if you do the promenade, you can go down here and then you can take the tunnel and you're at the beach, the official beach of Funchal Praia Formosa, my favorite beach in Madeira. So uh, I spend a lot of time here. I have spent a lot of time at Praia Formosa and I absolutely love this place. So this tunnel is open only in the summer months, all right? I believe that it's probably been open for like, probably maybe a month now. It's probably gonna stay open until maybe the end of September, maybe October. Um, I never really keep uh, contact into uh, when it opens and when it closes. It does open at 9 and close at 9 at night as well, so it's not always open. Uh, and of course, if there's rough seas, it closes. So during the winter, it closes. I did want to mention as well that Praia Formosa at the moment is very busy as well. August, there are locals taking vacations, the kids are on school holidays, there's loads of tourists. So Praia Formosa is quite busy at this moment as well. And I wanted to give you a tip, which is if you're driving, then please do not drive into Praia Formosa. It's just gonna be a nightmare for you guys. You're gonna have a very difficult time finding parking and a lot of people uh, park illegally on yellow lines and things like that uh, and you will get fined. So the police will go out there and find you and you'll have to pay for it if you're renting a car and uh, parking illegally in Madeira. So you don't wanna park in Praia Formosa. You wanna park if you're driving you want to park somewhere by the Lido, by the Lido, uh, or Centro Mar, and then walk in this way, and that way you'll get rid of all that traffic, all that confusion, uh, and no traffic fines. Of course, later in the year it'll be okay. This is really only for the summer summer months, and if you come here later, you have to check that this tunnel is open. So uh, let's head out to the beach, uh, where we're going to go for a swim, and then uh, it's time to to get to to work, to real work. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, kind of, it's Saturday. Anyway, right. come, yeah, let's go. Let's go into the tunnel. time we got for today guys so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel we're gonna bring you loads of awesome Madeira stuff and have fun this summer be safe 
And uh, yeah, I think that's it, right? Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road.